Trading Plan Building a trading plan is one of the most crucial things you could do. Unfortunately, too many people, especially new traders, are lazy. They just want to get an online trading platform and start making trades without any kind of preparation. You need to take your enjoyment and passion out of making your trading analysis and doing your research, which is something that is part of your trading plan. There are a lot of components that go into a trade, and there are a lot of trades that go into a day or a week or a month. There are different circumstances that these trades happen in, and without an actual plan that covers all possible trade scenarios that you might come across, you're going to struggle. If for whatever reasons, either technical or fundamental, you believe the Euro-US dollar exchange rate will rise, you simply want to buy and go long. In the financial world, when a security or an instrument is rising in value in a persistent way, we call that a bullish trend. Think about the amount of time you've had a to-do list for the day that you have not written down and how many times you've forgotten to do that one key thing. Now imagine all the different scenarios and components that go into trading and see if you can actually explain to yourself how you could possibly be successful without a concrete trading plan. Going forward, you're going to learn a step-by-step -step process on how to build your own consistently trading plan. By the end of this guide, you should be equipped with the right knowledge that needs to fit into your professional trading plan. Setting Goals If you don't have clear goals, there's no way you're going to achieve your financial targets. You can't achieve your goals if you don't establish them in the first place. Trading is like a business, and like with any new business, you'll have goals that you want to accomplish with your business. If you don't have goals, you're not going to take the next step of attempting to achieve your financial dreams. The first component of your trading plan should deal with setting up your financial goals and objectives. You're going to have short-term goals daily and weekly, medium-term goals monthly, long-term goals yearly. You need to be realistic about your goals because you'll not be able to turn your $10,000 account into a million dollar account overnight. For example, a more realistic target will be 20% as a monthly target rather than thinking to double your account every month. With the power of compounding, reinvesting previous profits, by the end of the year your account balance will stand at $89,161, which percentage wise is more than any hedge fund will be able to accomplish. Here is another view that breaks down your returns on a monthly basis. As your trading account grows, you can refine these trading goals because as you become better and better at trading, of course, you'll then have new goals. Trading System The first thing you want to decide already is what type of trading system you're going to use. Is it going to be a trend following system? Is it going to be a mean reversion system? Or maybe a counter trend system or a range bound trading system? The most important aspect of choosing a trading strategy is to make sure it fits your own personality. Once you answer that question, then you can choose the right trading strategy for you. The second thing you need to establish under your trading system is what instruments you are going to trade. Are you trading only the Forex major currencies? Are you trading Forex cross-currency pairs? Or maybe you're trading only the Euro, US dollar, the most active currency pair. You want to make sure that whatever market you're trading your system on, you've done your back testing or forward testing, and you've got your positive expectancy in the instrument that you're actually trading. The third component of your trading system is the time frame. Are you going to trade intraday, 5 minutes chart, hourly chart, 4 hour chart? Are you trading any particular session, London session, New York session, or Tokyo session? Are you going to be a swing trader or a long-term trader focusing on the bigger time frames, daily and weekly charts? No matter what time frame you choose, it should all come down to your own personality and temperament. Not everyone is built the same. Some people like instant gratification, in which case they are better off by trading intraday charts. However, if you have a more analytical mind and you like to take your time for doing the appropriate research, perhaps a higher time frame is more suitable for you. The fourth element of a good trading system includes some sort of criteria for your entry, stop loss placement, take profits. You're going to need some parameters when you get an entry signal so you won't get into a state of analysis paralysis. 
Here, we can include indicators or anything that needs to be part of that entry exit signal generator. You want some simple, clear-cut rules to help you manage your trades so you can flawlessly execute your trading system. The simpler that you can make your rules and your parameters for entries and exits, the better and the more consistently you're going to be able to follow your trading plan. Money management. Money management is probably the most important and critical aspect of any trading plan. If you don't implement strict risk management rules, you're going to be like the other 95% of traders who lose money. The first thing you need to decide is how much money are you willing to invest in your trading account, as you don't want to link all your net worth to your trading account. Secondly, you'll have to decide how much risk you'll put at work from your trading capital on each of your positions, which comes down to position sizing. This will help you not destroying your trading account if you go in a drawdown or into a losing period. Most hedge funds don't risk more than 2% on any particular trade idea, and you should do the same, especially if you're just getting started as this will ensure you survive while you're learning the ins and outs of Forex trading. All the information about your risk tolerance and how you manage risk, how you handle drawdowns, should be contained in this section. For example, when you lose X amount per day, week, month, you can have a rule set in place so you take a break and try to figure out what is going wrong. Trading Tools and Logistics This section should contain all the tools and information you need so your trading process goes smoothly. You also need to write down what you need to do in case of trading emergency. What if your internet goes out? Or what if your power goes out? What if you have open positions? You need to have a backup plan like having written down your broker's phone number to be able to contact him in such cases so you can close your positions. You can also choose to have a second internet provider in case one goes offline and backup power supply. The last thing you want to do in an emergency situation is running around trying to figure out who to call and being in a panic attack most likely you'll take the wrong decisions. Summary your trading plan is your collection of rules that you need to follow in order to successfully operate your trading business. Hopefully, this guide has shaded some clarity in terms of the key elements of a good trading plan. At the end of the day, your trading plan should include everything you'll need to operate your business successfully. Your trading plan should also suit your own lifestyle, and it must be developed around your trading personality. To summarize, a good trading plan is not limited to our four key elements but they are the base of any successful trading plan. Your trading plan will evolve alongside your progress as a trader. Now, the most important thing is to start writing it and invest some time until you came up with something that can be your guide throughout the trading day. The time that you'll dedicate to this task will yield a lot more than you can ever imagine in the long run. Thank you for reading.